night. When I derived Einstein's E equals MC squared. I had a nightmare about how E equals MC squared transformed into an atomic bomb through the Manhattan Project and killed 100,000 people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And last night, I had a similar dream. A dream that President Putin dropped a bomb on Manhattan. This video is for President Putin. I'm here in Times Square today to call attention to nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons, even the smallest ones, can cause devastation. You can't put a number on how much devastation they cause. Let's say President Putin, especially in recent years, uh, and it's with the coming of the Russo-Ukrainian war, Putin has threatened to deploy a nuclear strike. Whether he will do it on Ukraine or on the U.S., that is yet to tell. But no matter where, it will cause millions of deaths and millions more. And let's say we deploy a Tsar Bomba of 50 megaton yield right onto New York. To uh, right here, right on Times Square. To give you a scale of how powerful that thing is. Five or uh, fifty megatons is equivalent to fifty million tons of TNT. All right. So now let's get it detonated. Right away, there is a firewall created with a radius of four and a half kilometers, immediately vaporizing anything that comes in contact with it. That means that the fireball would effectively vaporize half of Manhattan. Then, heavy blast damage would affect many of the buildings in a 9 kilometer radius, uh, which would cause uh, more debris to fall and kill many more people. Approximately 98% of people would die in this radius. Then, further out, People uh, are still affected by the radiation and by the fire. And many are also affected by looking out the window and uh, stars of glass exploding in their face from the shock. H however, what is the most chilling is that in a radius of 60 kilometers from Times Square, the, even in southern New Jersey, you will receive third degree burns from the impact of the bomb. Nuclear bombs are one of the horriblest weapons ever invented. They are simply weapons to cause mass destruction. And if you think they're still on the level of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where people's faces were melting off and they caused a, a town wide fire, it's not like that anymore. Pipe bomb, uh, comparing uh, the Hiroshima to the kinds of bombs we have nowadays, is like comparing Hiroshima to a pipe bomb. So, it took us uh, 500 times as long for us to advance from stone to bronze, as uh, then it took us to advance from bronze to nukes. So, in total, 7.5, at least 7.5 million people would die in the impact. And if that seems like a statistic to you, remember that most of these people had a family and friends, people that would remember them forever. And they would be gone in either a fraction or a second or with an extremely painful bit. And not only that, but 4.2 million people would be injured. 